Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and today I'm bringing you another how-to video, and this one is how to install Third Age Reforged. So it is a sub mod for Third Age Total War. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on how to install the base Third Age mod, please go and check it out, uh, because again. Third Age Reforged is a sub-mod for Third Age Total War, so you need the updated version, Third Age 3.2, already installed for this mod to work. Okay, and I've had a lot of people um, not wondering which one that they should really go for, because there's a sub-mod called Third Age Reforged, and there's a sub-mod called Divide and Conquer, which I will be uploading another how-to video very shortly on how to install Third Age Divide and Conquer. Now, they are both sub-mods for Third Age Total War, and it really just depends on which one you really prefer to play as. Now, Third Age Reforged, it uses the exact same campaign as the original Third Age mod. The main Reforged, so to speak, is in their multiplayer content. They added a lot of more units, a couple of new factions, Cond was in there as well. Uh, really, really cool factions. So with Reforged, if you want Third Age mostly for multiplayer games, this is the mod for you. Now, you could technically have both of them installed, but... Uh, they need to be on separate Third Age folders, so you can't have the Third Age... Reforged and the Third Age Divide and Conquer smashed into the same folder as Third Age 3.2. So um, I will be showing you how to make separate folders for that. But the Divide and Conquer series, it actually is a total overhaul of the campaign. So Third Age Reforged, all about the multiplayer. Divide and Conquer, all about the campaign. I have both of them and uh, I kind of play them on my own time. But uh, you guys could just have one or the other. You could have both. It doesn't really matter. But this episode, it's just going to cover the Third Age Reforged. And then probably in a couple hours, I'll have the Divide and Conquer mod how-to video up. So you can see that I am at the famous mod website, www.moddb.com. So uh, basically, when you get there... If we just load the main screen just so everybody can see. So up at the top, there's a little search icon here. So you can just type in uh, Reforged. There it is. It pops right up. So if you click on that. Um, so here is some important installation guide notes for you guys. Uh, so step one, like I said at the beginning of the video, you need to have the updated Third Age 3.2 already installed for this to work. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, go check out my third age base mod how to download and then come back to this one but uh yeah so i'll be going through all of these steps for you so if we scroll down to the end uh you can see that the most recent patch 0 0.9 has actually been released and these are the two files that we care about so you see third age reforged part one of two and third age reforged part two of two so we're going to need both of these files okay so if we right click on both of them and open up their files for us it's just gonna take a bit of time here there we go so here is part one of two so you can see it right here part one of two so you can go ahead and click the download now icon and there's gonna be an annoying annotation that'll start but uh, it's gonna populate with a little download screen on the bottom of your Google Chrome browser or I believe Firefox is the same way uh, if you're using Internet Explorer, get a better browser, because um, I don't know how it works. But yeah, same with uh, Third Age Reforged 0.9 Part 2 of 2. You need this one as well, so don't forget to download that. Uh, also, double check your file sizes. So this is 375 megabytes, and this one is 2.26 gigabytes. So we want to make sure that when they're downloaded and put into our mods folder that these match. If you have less than that, your download probably desynced during its process, and you will have to delete it and re-download. So yeah, we're going to let those uh, finish up. And then once they are, uh, you're going to see them reflected over here. So we've got Third Age Reforged. That is part one. And look at the file size there, 2.26 gigabytes. So perfect. And this is Third Age Reforged point one. That is the second part, 375 megabytes. So that's excellent. So we know that we have the uh, correct ones there. So what we're going to do here, and I'm going to show you guys 
how to get here from the starting point. So yeah, if we like, most likely you're going to open this up. So go into your local C, program files 86, and Steam, Steam apps, common, and Medieval 2 Total War, and mods. So right here you can see that I have my third age base mod here. So this is the original mod 3.2. And then this is a third age reforge file. So uh, you guys will not have this here uh, at the moment. And if you do, you're way ahead of me. So you can stop watching the video. But what you got to do here is just right click and copy the third age file. And then uh, paste it in, in the same spot. So you've got two third age folders. So you may have to actually rename the first one first. So if you like copy this. And then rename this. What you need to do is rename it to third underscore age underscore reforged. Exactly like this. Because what we're going to do is use this folder as a destination folder for downloading our third age reforged. Okay. So once you have that, then you can go ahead and right click and paste it back. And you should have your original third age that you just put in and your third age reforged. Okay. So then looking back at the download sheet, so we're going to start with uh, Third Age Reforge, the first one right now. So if you double click on that, and it's going to ask you to buy it, you don't have to. So here's the Third Age Reforge. So go up to the top of the screen and hit Extract To. And then you can see we're just going to follow the exact same path. We're going to help the computer find what we're looking for. So Local C, Program Files 86. Scroll down to Steam and Steam Apps. And common, Medieval 2 Total War. And then this is a very important part. Do not click on mods and then put it, uh, click on this and put it into the Third Age Reforged. We don't want to do that. I tried to do it like that at first and it actually duplicated the Third Age files in here and just dropped it in there so I had like duplicate files and it crashed on startup. So don't do that. You gotta stop at mods. So uh, let me just go back here. Uh, we can close that. There we go. So yeah, so right from here, Medieval 2 Total War, just hit mods, but don't open it. We want it to go right into the mods folder. Okay, so hit OK. And then this file comes up asking if you want to replace all of the files in our new Third Age uh, Reforged folder into this one because remember this is just basic third age 3.2 so yeah we want to replace all of that stuff because we already got our other third age folder we're not going to tamper with that so we're going to put it right into the third age folder say yes to all and it's going to start downloading all of that but i can cancel that because i've already done that and then we're not done this is another reason why the game crashes quite a bit don't forget that you've got a second file that has to go in so double clicking on that as well and hitting, ah, stop, hitting Third Age Reforged. Again, let's extract to the same folder. So local C, program files 86, and Steam, Steam apps, common, Medieval 2, and just select the mods folder. That, we just want it to go in there. So hit OK. Again, it's going to say replace. Go ahead. That's fine with me. But we don't need to do that because I've already done that as well. And then that's it finished. So now you've got the third age folder, which you can see as the third age startup browser in here with all of the data packs. But in this third age reforged, we have the third age one, which is okay. We can leave that there. But we've got this third age reforged right here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And I'll show you guys the uh, completed product so that you know that it's working. And I'm not just yanking your chain. But uh, don't worry about how long it takes to boot up too, because it, I thought that it wasn't working, but it does take about 10 seconds for it to come up. Hey guys, so just made a little bit of a cut there. Uh, just because with Third Age Reforged, I don't exactly know for sure what the copyright uh, rules are. Uh, being that this is a Lord of the Rings game, uh, I don't think that I can legally show you the opening intro or the music. So I've just shut all that off, but uh, yeah, you can see that the main the main screen here is Third Age Total War Reforged, and at the bottom, multiplayer only. 
So I think you can go into single player and play the campaign, but it is the original campaign for uh, Third Age 3.2. So if you guys are looking for a new campaign, uh, check out my Divide and Conquer how-to video, which is coming up next. Uh, yeah, but let's take a look at uh, multiplayer. Go into some online battles. And I'm just going to host a quick game to show you guys uh, what's new in the Total War world. So we've got uh, some new custom battles. I don't think these were in the original Third Age. Uh, so we got a lot of really neat ones here. Sirithungal, the Dead Marshes, Dwarf Mountain. Like, the list goes on and on. Lonely Mountain, this is a fun one to play. So, yeah, like, there's just tons of, of content here for multiplayer, which is excellent. But if we hit next again, uh, it's going to load up the uh, factions. Uh, I think that every faction has got, uh, got some added units. And uh, there's a couple of new factions, too. I don't remember seeing these ones. But, yeah, there's all the units there, you can see. Really cool. Castamer's Rangers. Got some uh, Castamer's Chosen. Belagar Halberds. Like, just really awesome units. Look at these archers. That's really cool. 45 defense. Wow. <laughs> Pretty OP. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys found this informative. Be sure to leave a like, uh, comment if you guys are having any issues, and I'll try to get back to you and help you out as best I can. Leave a subscribe if you like my channel content. And uh, I struggle with downloading mods as well, so I understand that it can be difficult at times. So that's kind of why I make these how-to videos really basic. I go through it really slow, just so everybody can have the chance to enjoy it like I do. So yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more how-to content in the future. And I will see you in the next one.